The path of least resistance is not just restricted to business matters but also thrives in a variety of areas of our lives like looking after our body and personal health our relationship with our partner or children managing friendships and free time intellectual artistic and even spiritual goals due to laziness or our fast paced lives we fall into repetitive patterns of eating and sleeping it's only when our bodies issue a serious warning or our relationship becomes stagnant and a crisis emerges that we realize the need for change this tendency extends to all areas of our lives from time to time we make little adjustments and improvements like the employees with their quarterly reviews but they are just band-aids that fail to change the situation in any meaningful way one have to understand it is not always a matter of laziness sometimes we are simply busy maintaining what we have devoted so much time to building and we have neither the time nor the energy to take it to the next level or perhaps true change is scarce mikawa explained to welch the secret that inspired the concept of bullet train thinking he said if you want a train to go 10 km per hour faster you just add more horsepower to the engine but if you need to go from 150 km per hour to 300 km per hour you have to think about many other things do we need to change all the tracks and make them wider do we have to change the suspension system do we need to make the passenger cars more aerodynamic you have to think differently outside the box you won't get a new train with a few modifications you need to start from scratch with a whole new way of thinking this radical approach to change is precisely what mikawa and his team applied when they revolutionized train transportation with the shinkansen also known as the bullet train this radical approach known as the shinkansen effect required a complete shift in thinking and resulted in a revolutionary breakthrough in 1964 just 6 years after the challenge was issued the first bullet train was inaugurated for the tokyo olympics the shinkansen connected tokyo and osaka at speeds exceeding 200 km per hour reducing the travel time between the two cities from 6 hours and 40 minutes to 3 hours and 10 minutes the innovation and new ways of thinking that emerged from the development of the shinkansen revolutionized train transportation worldwide for decades to come This story serves as a reminder of the importance of adopting a fresh perspective and challenging traditional notions to achieve significant breakthroughs. The concept of shinkansen thinking or bullet train thinking is exemplified by Eiji Mikawa, who advocated for applying it across his company. Whenever his division directors suggested a 5% cost reduction, he challenged them to consider ways to achieve a 50% reduction instead. The underlying principle is that if a goal is envisioned to be accomplished in 10 years, the most effective strategy is to contemplate how to achieve the same objective within a single year. This radical change, this Shinkansen effect is widely used in engineering and business 
but we can also apply to all divisions of our life. Set your first Sinkasan objective. We can apply this transformative mindset to every aspect of our lives. The question we must ask ourselves is, what is our own bullet train objective? What seemingly impossible goal do we want to achieve? It's essential to set objectives that challenge us, that seem almost out of reach, but visualizing and committing to these audacious goals, we can unlock new potentialities, new possibilities, discard old ideas and pursue unconventional paths. The key to achieving our bullet train objectives lies in taking action. We need to outline a set of initiatives that will propel us forward. For example, if your objective is to give a speech in front of a thousand men, your action list could include buying books on public speaking, seeking guidance from experienced speakers and enrolling in public speaking courses. It's about committing to specific actions, setting timelines and making a binding commitment to ourselves. As we embark on this journey of bullet train thinking, remember the word of Peter Drucker, a renowned management consultant. The best way to predict the future is to create it. Let's create a future where we think big, act boldly and dare to pursue the seemingly impossible. This brings us to the end of today's video. I hope this exploration of bullet train thinking has sparked a fire within you to challenge the status quo and reach for extraordinary results. Remember, the power to create meaningful change resides within each one of us. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more empowering content. Thank you for watching.